never down, never Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do I never think, I always do you guys, I've had a lot of caffeine this morning and I am ready to clean my house. We are going to not just clean today, but I'm also gonna show you how to make all my DIY cleaners. A lot of you guys asked for recipes. So I actually have some of the stuff in the background I'm gonna show you and all of my cleaners are all natural, super easy, very affordable. Probably a lot of the stuff you already have like in your house. If you wanna see how I make my cleaning products that are safe and environmentally friendly, keep watching. So here are some of the things that you're gonna need. Uh, you don't have to have these exact things. In fact, it's probably way better if you wanna like upcycle a jar um, as opposed to going out and buying mason jars. Um, but I also have an alternative if you don't wanna do like the long way to make stuff. But if you have lavender and rosemary, um, again, you can totally make your own scents, but I like lavender and rosemary, so I um, knocked on a neighbor's door and asked if I could cut some. They approved, um, so that was free. And then I have a grapefruit, some oranges, and some lemons, uh, vinegar, and then also some, these are glass, like amber glass bottles. And um, I will list on my Amazon storefront these bottles if you guys wanna get the same ones. Or like I said, you can always um, repurpose things. It's like way more eco-friendly if you do it that way. So for instance, I got this at the dollar store. It's plastic, but if you can find vinegar in a glass jar or a bottle, definitely get that because then you can actually take um, these at the thrift store or something if you find them or old ones from your old cleaning supplies and you can repurpose them You can actually put it on and reuse that bottle. Um, so it's a great way to you know be eco-friendly um, But for the purpose of this video I'm just gonna show you guys kind of what I have now and how I make it uh, There's a few things I didn't put here. So if you have any of these like little funnel things um, These are great. Um, not a must but you know and then also um, if you have a label maker, these are all op obviously optional, but it's nice to be able to like take your bottle for instance um, and label it because you have different cleaners in your house for different surfaces and different things you want to clean so um, I like to label my bottles. So we will actually be starting with the easiest thing to make, which is window and glass cleaner. So I just used this little label maker. I got mine from Target. I'll link mine down in the description box. This one was super inexpensive. It was like under $20. I think it was like $17 or $18. And label makers are great if you like labeling things around your house. So there you go. Um, that is really crooked and bothering me. So we're gonna reapply that. Okay, that is a little bit better. Okay, so let's see. No, it's definitely not. Oh my God. Okay, little tip. I actually just switched the labels um, on the backside. So if you're like squirting something, uh, it, you'll be able to see exactly what you're cleaning with to make sure you're cleaning with the right product. So I thought that's a good tip and that I should probably do that. So I just switched it from having it here to the backside. For some reason, you do not want to use a label maker. You don't have one. I actually found these labels that are stickers at the dollar store and obviously only a dollar. So these are always an option or alternative to a label maker if you'd like to use these to label your cleaning jars. Another fun thing to do is to go into your fridge and find all of your glass jars. So for instance, this uh, jelly jar, um, I will be reusing when it's all done. And um, I can actually do a video if you'd like to see how to remove the labels easily and how to repurpose them and to get like anything smelly. Like for instance, this glass jar and sometimes it's really hard to get the smell out even if you wash it with like um you know in your dishwasher so um, i have some really good tips and tricks on how to really clean out these glass jars to be able to reuse them to repurpose them to do um vinegar infusions like i'm going to show you today and also just to reuse for like you know to store stuff if you like buy in bulk um to try to be more eco-friendly i'm on an eco-friendly kick over here 
gotta save that environment, Mother Earth. Fun fact, my husband is out of town all weekend. So I'm home alone by myself with snow, which to most people might not seem like that big of a deal. I actually have never been home alone with her um, since she was born, she's almost a year old. So I am trying to film videos and edit and clean the house and take care of her, which moms all across the nation do amazing with like way more than one kid. <laughs> But when it's your first time, you just have to, it's like a learning curve. She is fast asleep, which is why I'm able to film this video right now. Us moms don't have a lot of time to do stuff. So the first recipe we're gonna do is the easiest one to make, and this is window and glass cleaner. A lot of people know that vinegar is like amazing to clean glass and windows because it's streak free, it's really cheap, and it's not harmful uh, or toxic to, to you or your pets. All you're gonna do is make a mixture of 50% vinegar and 50% water. Um, I would recommend white distilled vinegar and distilled water. So that's what we're gonna do right now, and that is going to be our glass and window cleaner. So you can clean any um, mirrors and any uh, like windows in your house. So I actually got this vinegar from the dollar store and this is 64 fluid ounces. I don't know if it's cheaper uh, to buy, you know, somewhere else in a bigger bottle, um, but I just figured I'd go to the dollar store and see how many things I could get. Also, if anyone's wondering what this is in the background, it is not a vibrator. <laughs> it's a taser and it is super painful if you get tased. I know because I've tased someone before a few times. Once this dries down, um, you don't smell the vinegar anymore. I'm over here like, ooh, I'm so eco-friendly as I'm using my paper towels. I'm not, no one said I was perfect, okay? Far from it, but I'm doing my best over here. I'm doing what I can. Are you freaking kidding me? That was so easy. It's so much safer and much more eco-friendly, good for the environment, so definitely make your own cleaner. It's worth a shot. Also, fun tip, you can use the newspaper, um, if you have newspaper, to clean glass, mirrors, and windows. So definitely try it out because it works actually way better than anything else. Are you so excited for the next one? I am! This is what happens when I have too much caffeine. Somebody stop me. Okay, um, oh, also another little fun fact. I feel like the lighting is so bad in here. Another cool tip or trick is um, I like to have like smaller bottles like this um, with a little spray thing to keep in bathrooms. So like all the bathrooms in my house, I want them to have a counter spray underneath the sink so I can just grab it out if like I feel like it needs to be um, cleaned up really quickly and also a glass mirror cleaner. So it's just like very readily accessible and it's easy to keep things clean that way instead of, you know, if you have a bathroom all the way upstairs going all the way downstairs or going all the way to your kitchen to go get something to clean. It's just really inconvenient. It kind of makes you not want to clean. So I like to make little smaller jars of the same cleaning solution to have in there. Okay, next up we are actually going to be making a cleaning solution for my quartz countertops. You have to be really careful when you're making DIY cleaning solutions because you can't use vinegar. You're not supposed to use vinegar on stone or marble or granite or anything like that. My countertops um, are quartz. This is what I use for a disinfectant and also to clean my countertops. Um, I just use two tablespoons of Dr. Bronner's soap. This is the unscented kind um, or Castile soap, uh, any Castile soap. Um, and then one fourth rubbing alcohol, or you can use vodka if you don't have that on hand. Um, one cup of distilled vinegar, and then 10 to 20 drops of your favorite essential oils. Because it's fall time, I thought it would be fun to do cinnamon and nutmeg, but you can do like citrus and lemon. Um, you can do lavender, uh, cedar wood, you know, whatever essential oils you have on hand, um, you can do, or you don't have to do any at all. You could just use this and go from there. I think snow just woke up. <laughs> I hear a baby. <gasps> I hear a baby. Hi, Snowy. How was your nap, honey? Was it good? Yeah, she's like, yeah, get me out of here, mom. Whoa, careful. <laughs> oh, sweet girl. Oh, 
my goodness. You want to say hi? You want to say hi? Hi, everyone. I'm Snow. I just woke up from my nap. I love you, honey. Mommy's making cleaners today. What do you think about that? Fun stuff, huh? She's like, yeah, mom, you're a dork. Also, if you guys are interested, I can do a video on like how to make DIY hand sanitizer and laundry soap, um, how to clean like basically everything. So let me know if you guys want to see like DIYs for all that because I think it's fun to make and it's like fun for me. So if you think that kind of stuff is fun, let me know and I'd be happy to make videos for that. But today I'm just kind of making the basic like DIY cleaners that, you know, everyone uses and, or like everyone should use. So there you go. All right, let's change your diaper. Mom duties. Are you excited for your blueberries? You guys, she loves blueberries. Don't choke on me. I'm gonna go finish making my cleaning supplies, okay? So we can have a clean house for you. This is one of the things that definitely needs to be cleaned is this high chair. Ooh, ew, it is dirty, yuck. Gross, mom. You were just the cutest little thing. I love you, honey. You're so sweet. Hi. You're the cutest. So I just wanted to share with you guys really quickly. I made this pasta salad a few days ago. It is so good. It's so easy. And since we're using vinegar today in our recipe, you could also use it in this recipe, which is what I did. And it's so easy. Um, if you guys want me to do a recipe on more like food stuff, let me know. Cause this is super healthy. It's so easy. And, um, it's even better as leftovers. So I would highly recommend this. We are gonna be cleaning your high chair today, Snowy, because it looks like you make a little bit of a mess, which most babies do. She's like, Mom, stop filming me. Get me out of this thing, I'm done. Okay, honey, I'm getting you out. Let's make a run together. I'll be by your side. Before we collide and if the sky Okay, let's go wash your hands. Your hands are dirty. Yeah. Hi. Yay! You love it! You love it! Okay, we're gonna do the other hand. Wow. Ready? Take your hand. Right there. Good girl. <laughs> wow. Okay, good girl. Clean girl. Now let's change your diaper. Woo woo. Okay. <laughs> we made a little diaper drawer here so that it's easy. We don't have to go all the way upstairs. I just change her on the on the couch. Okay, let's change your diaper. Get it, girl. Oh my gosh, are you attacking me with love? Oh, okay, yes, you want a nurse. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to make my favorite, all-time favorite cleaner. This is the all-purpose cleaner, and it's the one that I use the most. So the way that I like to do it is I just go to the store and I get grapefruit, lemons, um, oranges, you know, you can do limes, whatever you want. And then I clean them really well so that, you know, if they're not organic and they have pesticides, they get all that off. And then I like to use a peeler uh, for the lemons because it helps to get like all the natural oils out and that really helps um, infuse in our vinegar infusion that we're making. So you see me here, I'm just like 
taking all the stickers off of the produce and washing it really well with just Dr. Bronner soap and warm water. And then once I'm done doing that, I just, like I showed you, um, peel them. You don't have to use a peeler. You could really do it however you want and get creative, but I just like to do it. And I also think it looks pretty in the bottle. So I am just doing that. And I'm also going to be making my fresh squeezed lemonade, which is, oh my God, I can't even tell you how good it is. You guys, um, you have to try it. I'm going to make it with you in here. And then I just threw in the lavender and I put it into a mason jar. You can put it into any glass jar you want. And it's so easy. All you do is just fill it with white distilled vinegar, shake it up a little bit, and then you're going to stick it in your pantry. Um, you can leave it in there, um, up to two weeks or even longer if you want. And you kind of just refill your jars. Um, it's that easy. And the lemon actually helps as like a or the, any citrus really helps to, um, like lift dirt and it also is a degreaser. So it works really great um, in the vinegar and I use it for everything. It's just really amazing. So now I'm just taking the um, orange peels and I'm gonna make a few different recipes. Um, it's fun because you could really get creative. I um, was putting rosemary in with oranges or orange peels and then again, you just put the vinegar in. It's so easy. Now, if you don't wanna make this for some reason, it's like, you don't have time or whatever, you're not into like doing that kind of stuff, you can also just use essential oils um, and get creative with those. So definitely, um, you know, do whatever works with you like or works for you and play around with the recipes. That's like the whole fun part about it. Um, now I'm making my fresh squeezed lemonade so easy. All I do is just take a little um, squeezer, juicer, what is this called? Oh my gosh, <laughs> my brain's not working. Um, and I squeeze like I don't know. I don't really have like an actual recipe. I just do like a couple lemons, uh, for that jar. And then I, uh, put in my distilled vinegar. Oh, I also like to wait distilled vinegar. No, I don't mean, I didn't mean to say that <laughs> distilled water. I meant, and then I use brown sugar just cause I have it at home and I like the taste of it. Um, so like two tablespoons of that, you know, I'm not like there's no actual recipe. Um, and that's it. And I like to slice up lemons to put inside because I think it looks pretty. And then I love to label it because you guys know I like to label everything. Um, and it was really, really good. And then guess what? I let Snow try some because she has never had mom's fresh squeezed lemonade before. So we're going to see how she likes it. What do you guys think? Do you think? Do you think she's going to like it? If you know my daughter and you watch our videos, you know that she is obsessed with lemons. You started a fire Somewhere deep in my mind See the barbed wire The place is grown all wide Cause I don't know if it'll be enough Or if they really care There's a stairway down Okay guys, so I just put snow down for her second like midday nap and I need to clean up. I still haven't even cleaned up the food from when she had her lunch, <laughs> as you can see. Uh, and normally I would want to like clean this right when it happened because it's so much easier to clean. But uh, I was trying to also film this video, so you can't do it all, but it is a cleaning video. So um, I'm going to clean all that with you guys and show you kind of like how well the cleaners work. Um, another one of the cleaners I didn't put like in a bottle um, because I'll just use like a rag and it's so simple. It's basically just the Castile soap and warm water and uh, that will like totally clean the high chair, the floors, like tile floors. I'm getting ready to make a label for my fresh squeezed lemonade and then I'm going to make one more infused vinegar we're gonna do a fun little recipe I like it because it's like so fun you could like literally make anything you want with whatever like scents you like so if you loved mint you know or like spearmint you can take like spearmint leaves and put that in with like your favorite fruit or you know um fruit peels not the actual fruit itself it's just so fun and you get to like be creative and you're making things from home so it's like you feel kind of like accomplished and proud of yourself at least i do and you know that like you're cleaning with stuff that you know what's in it you don't have to worry about like your kids or you like breathing in you know harmful things i'm gonna label this and then i'm gonna make one more infused vinegar and we're gonna do some cleaning
I don't know if you guys have tried this or not. Normally, this would look so gross to me and I would never, ever, ever eat this. And it actually is delicious and I'm so obsessed and I get it every year now when it comes out and I get so excited when I see it at Trader Joe's. So if you have a Trader Joe's, definitely try this and let me know what you think. So now I'm making a grapefruit infusion and I absolutely hate grapefruit, but I love the smell of it. Uh, so if you, this is like a perfect thing to do when you are like peeling fruit or you have fruit peels and for some reason you're not able to or you don't have the time to do it, you can always freeze the peels and then take them out of the freezer when you are ready to make this infusion. Again, it's just a great way to... Um, you know, be eco-friendly and use like all of the stuff that we end up like throwing away. Uh, so yeah, I just thought it was fun to share and I hope that you guys try it and I hope you guys like it. you don't want to wait a while to do it this way you can always just do vinegar and essential oils um you know it's totally up to you so everyone has an option or an alternative uh so whatever floats your boat i thought it would be fun to do this just because it's cheaper and it's more eco-friendly in my opinion so i am going to um basically put this in here and then use the strainer to get my infused vinegar into my all-purpose cleaner and just remember this you don't want to use on any type of stone or like marble granite quartz countertops um, because over time it can erode and damage the uh, stone so this would be perfect for like cleaning tubs sinks um you know things like that so uh, i'm gonna go ahead and fill these bottles up and we're gonna get started on cleaning the house So something I really like to do when I'm cleaning the house, um, it makes it really easy if you have a diffuser and you like using it, you can definitely diffuse essential oils. I have something, if you don't do essential oils, you just fill up a pot. This is like the easiest way of doing it. If you have spices, um, like, well, pumpkin spice of course is almost done, but I'm gonna take that and nutmeg. And what else do we have in here? I don't know, kind of just go through your, your um, oh, ground cloves, that looks fun. Um, okay, so we're gonna do cloves, nutmeg, and pumpkin spice. And a lot of people do like actual cinnamon sticks and orange peels, and they put them in here, and that like makes your house smell amazing and super fancy, but if you don't have that and you just have this, this totally works. So we're gonna stick this in here and bring it to a boil and then we're gonna let it simmer. Um, obviously, you have to make sure, especially if you have kids, that you are have your eyes on this at all times. You don't wanna like, you know, go upstairs and clean the house and leave this on the stove. Um, if you have a diffuser, that's okay to leave, but I wouldn't leave anything hot on the stove. So um, I'm gonna stick this in and we're gonna make the house smell nice while we start cleaning it. My other little tip is that um, save these bottles because you could reuse them for stuff. Um, and if you like, buy in bulk, you can always just refill them. So when I went to the dollar store, I found these reusable gloves and I was able to actually try them on and they fit like perfectly. And they were only a dollar, you guys. So reusable gloves, awesome. I'm excited about those. So I'll be using those when I'm cleaning. They also had these microfiber washcloths. I bought some sponges, so we need to tackle some cleaning things today i keep saying like oh let's go clean and i'm really procrastinating i'm like mm, let's let let's make the house smell good first and then i'm like mm, let's do a little dollar dollar store haul so um but i did want to show you that but yeah now let's get cleaning because i only have a short time before miss snow wakes up Yeah, there's no streaks at all. It's just like shiny. 
I'm telling you, this cleaner works amazing. Okay, I'm making lunch really quick and it is a frozen meal, don't judge me. Uh, this is so good, you guys. Uh, it's Bride Gardein. It's got 16 grams of protein. <laughs> you can make it in five minutes. This is what I'm working with. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Uh, I am going to just be using some of the all-purpose cleaner and then just warm soap and water. Um, I'm also probably going to get like a little cleaning toothbrush to get in like the seams and stuff to try to get that out. This thing actually comes off. You can take it off and throw it in the wash, but I don't really think it's that necessary to do. I think I could just clean it pretty good with just soap and water. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my, it's kinda of hard to see, toothbrush, and I'm gonna spray some of my all-purpose cleaner onto the bristles. And just kinda of clean in some of the areas that doesn't really come out with a sponge. There's other areas like in here, it's kinda of hard to see, it's so gross, sorry. Um, but like these little areas, like get so much cleaner with the toothbrush cause it's just, you know, those hard to reach areas that you are able to reach. And again, this is just soap and water. works so well you guys like look at how much, how fast that cleaned in the seams isn't that amazing <laughs> i don't know why but it gets you really excited i mean you guys saw how gross it was before and you can already see like the difference of like how much better it's looking already just wiping it down all natural ingredients, so easy. And that vinegar smell from the all-purpose cleaner, like like I said, once it dries, it'll you won't smell the vinegar anymore. Oh my God, you guys look how clean this looks. This brings me lots of joy. All right, I'm just taking a little bit of essential oil, some lemon down the drain, and then I'm just gonna do a drop at the bottom of my trash can so that doesn't just have like a fresh lemony scent because it smells nice, makes your kitchen smell nice. Okay, you guys, it's super late. I feel like I've been cleaning all day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, if you wanna see more videos like this one. And let me know down in the comment section below, what videos do you wanna see next? Like what kind of videos would you guys like to watch? Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm sending you all my love and all my positive energy, and I hope to see you in my next video. Mwah.